is 2.2 here are some important formula which first have to be recorded in your notebook Carl Pearson method where the information in the question where two variables will be given that is x column and y column out of those total we'll first of all find out x bar and y bar if the answer of x bar and y bar are integer means without point then this formula have to be used as per the formula we'll prepare the column for the remaining information if x bar or y bar or both are decimal means answer came in point that time we'll use this formula but the value of x bar and y bar are not so large then but if the value of x bar and y bar are large then shortcut method has to be used where u and v will be introduced to find out u and v these are the formulas which have to be used to find out the value of u and v there are some more formulas this three formula which which is used for short question solution it's not compulsory that this is the only question so a formula have to be used for the solution of small question many times those these three formulas are also used it's depend on the what information is given in the small question which will be more clear with the solution of the question now here as x means standard deviation of x as y means standard deviation of y it's not compulsory that every time you will get the ready standard deviation in the question many time they will give sx square that is the variance of x or the sy square that is variance of y it's very simple to find out just a square root of variance you will get your standard deviation moving to the next here are some very important information related to this chapter the interpretation of the value of correlation coefficient now if the value of correlation coefficient found one it means it's a perfect positive correlation between two variables if the answer came in minus 1 then it call as a perfect negative correlation between two variable and if we found answer in zero means no linear correlation between the two variables remember the value of correlation coefficient lies in the interval of minus 1 to 1 means in this question your answer should come zero point and whatever the answer but the answer will remain with zero point it can be in the plus sign or it can be a minus sign but it will remain with zero point uh, whatever it, the numbers now zero point if it is more than 0.5 it call as a high degree positive relation and if it gives an answer in minus means a less than 0.5 then it knows as a low degree positive relation in the same way minus 0.5 means more than 0.5 if we found the answer it means high degree negative relation and if the answer found with the more less than 0.5 then it known as a low degree negative relation thank you we'll continue with the solution of the exercise 2.2 so from statistic part 1 from standard 12th chapter 2 linear correlation and here today we start with the exercise 2.2 from the following information obtained from a sample of seven families of a society regarding height of a father and height of an adult son calculate correlation coefficient so out of this information today we are going to start our math second matter carl pearson matter with the question so just take the information which is given in the question on the table where we are going to put x and y hope you understand in the last video which has been done for about the carl pearson method so here we are going to first make a step 1 where we are going to first find out x bar and y bar to find out x bar and y bar as you can see here we need sigma x upon n and sigma y upon n so sigma means a total of this x column that is sigma x and total of y column that is sigma y here you can see the total is already done so let's start with the calculation so before we calculate here we can say 
and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is given. Even in the question is given that samples are 7. Then sigma x that is 1, 1, 6, 9. Sigma y that is 1, 1, 7, 6. Out of this, let's find out first x bar that is sigma x upon n. 1, 1, 6, 9 divided by 7 and here we get 167 centimeter which is given in the question next y bar for this we need sigma y upon n the total of y column is 1176 and n is 7 calculate here we get 168 centimeter so out of this first i just took the two column then first step is to remove the x bar and y bar and see the answer is came in integer. In the formula also I shown you that first step that to remove x bar and y bar. Then second step to find out what it is or what we found in the x bar and y bar. If the x bar and y bar is integer, yani ke point mein answer nahi hai, to ye wala formula use karna hai. And if the answer came in decimal, that time you have to uh, use this formula but when when the value are not so large agar large value aaye to aapko shortcut method use karna hai so let's start with the integer formula here the formula is the coefficient uh, correlation coefficient that has been denoted as r x minus x bar y minus y bar under root sigma x minus x bar whole square sigma y minus y bar whole square now out of this we'll get ready with the columns now for first thing we need is x minus x bar then we need y minus y bar here you can see then we also need sigma x minus x bar and y minus y bar means together x minus x bar y minus y bar then we need the square root of this column so this column is going to be get uh, in square then y y minus y bar whole square so to find out this first of all we'll get minus x minus x bar so here we have the x value 170 and the x bar value is 167 so 170 minus 167 we get 3 here you can write down that x bar is 167 next 169 minus 167 here we get 2 168 minus 167 1 this is how you have to keep on going 16 minus 167 minus 167 that is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 now the next column is y minus y bar and here we found minus uh, y bar is 168 so 172 minus 168 we get 4 168 minus 168 0 this is have this is how you have to continue with the remaining Then after we need x minus x bar, y minus y bar means the multiplication of these two columns. 3, 4, 3 multiplied by 4 that is 12. Here 0, 2, 0, 3 because minus minus we will get plus. Here also 2 and here 6. Get the total 25. Next is x minus x bar whole square. This column have to get square means 3, 3 is a 9, 2 2 is a 4, 1 1 is a 1, 0, 1, 4, 9 and here the total is 28. Next y minus y bar whole square. Now 4 4 is a 16, 0 will be remain 0, 2 2 is a 4, 0, 3 3 is a 9. Here also minus minus will get plus. So remove the minus sign and here we get 34 so here all information is ready that's what we want so keep into the formula the total of x minus x bar y minus y bar that is sigma x minus x bar y minus y bar that is this column 
take 25. Under root we have to take the square of x minus x bar whole square. This is the total 28. And next one is the total of y minus y bar whole square that is sigma y minus y bar whole square that is 34. So first of all get multiply 28 into 34 you will get 952. Then remove the root of 950. After removing the root of 952 you will get 30.82 get them divide you will get 0 0.81 at the end write down that here the correlation coefficient between the height of a father and height of a son is found 0 0.81 now moving to the next question second question a local cottage industry is making a various snack, snack sales each snacks in a packet of 100 grams from a study for price determination regarding a new kind of wafer the following information is obtained for the price and the demand here the price is given and the demand. Find the correlation coefficient between the price of a wafer and its demand. So out of this information, remember first of all we will take the total of x and y. So first take the total of x and y that is sigma x and sigma y. And the total number is 6. And first of all you will find out x bar and y bar. After getting the answer we will will decide that which formula have to be take. So here we can see the answer we found is in integer. So write down x bar and y bar are integer and then we will find out the correlation coefficient with this formula. Now for this first we will get ready with the columns which we need that is x minus x bar, y minus y bar, x minus x bar, y minus y bar x minus x bar whole square and y minus y bar whole square. So here we found the x bar is 30. So 24 minus 30 we get minus 6. 26 minus 30 we get minus 4. 32 minus 30 2. This is how we will continue for the remaining. The next one is y minus y bar. So first let's see y bar value we found is 22, 27 minus 22 we get 5, 24 minus 22, 2, 22 minus 22, 0, 20 minus 22, minus 2, minus 7, 2. So after getting these two columns we will get them multiply for this x bar minus x minus x bar and y minus y bar means 6 5s are 30. 4 2's are 8. We can see the sign of a minus is only given in the one column. So the uh, sign will be continue for the x minus x bar and y minus y bar multiplication. 2 into 0. 3 2's are 6. 5 7's are 35. 0 into 2 0. So let's get them total. All the answer is in minus. So here we get the sigma x minus x bar and y minus y bar is equal to minus 79. Next column is x minus x bar whole square means this 6 6 are 36, 4 4 are 16, 2 2 are 4, 3 3 are 9, 5 5 are 25, 0 and here we get the total means sigma x minus x bar whole square we get 90. Next is y minus y bar whole square means this column. 5 5s are 25, 2 2s are 4, 2 2s are 4, 7 7s are 49, 2 2s are 4. So out of this, let's take out the total that is sigma y minus y bar of this column, we get 86. After getting the value of this column, just skip into their formula. Here we get minus 79. The total of sigma x minus x bar whole square that is 90 and the total of y minus y bar whole square that is 86. First of all get this two member multiply that is 90 into 86 we get 7740 next 
minus 79 just remove the root of this you will get 87.98 is equal to minus 0 0.90 yeah, hence we can say that correlation coefficient between the price and demand of wafer is obtained 0 0.90 don't forget to write down that At the end you have to write down this and we'll move to the next question question number three from the following information of a sample of six students of a student regarding their marks in two subject accountancy and statistic find the core efficiency of correlation between the marks of two subject here the marks are given and here again they told you to find out core coefficiency of correlation so first take the information in table make the total of them to find out which formula have to be go with so out of this information here i remove the x bar and y bar which i found is in integer so again we are going to use the same formula so let's start so here i put the x bar value 64 and y bar value 61 so let's start 60 minus 64 here we get minus 4 80 minus 64 16 then continue with the same process Just be sure and concentrate when you are doing a calculation of this. One single digit you made a mistake in a calculator, the answer will be wrong. So be sure and focus on when you are making a calculation. Here we are going to minus 50 minus 61. Remember, pehle y ko lena hai. Yani ke ye column se pehle 50 ki value leni hai, baad mein x bar yani ke 61. So you will get the proper minus and the plus answer. Nine, and here we get so here first of all we'll make a multiplication of this two column to find out this one 4 into 11 that is 44 16 into 14 that is 224 14 ones are 14 please continue with the same And here we get total 3535. Next, the square of this column that is 16, 256, 196. And the total of this column is 4390. Now make a square root of this column that is 121, 196, 1, 576. Sixteen nine six one two five six eighty one. And here the total is 3490. Just take the value into the formula that is 3 5 3 5 take the under root x minus x bar whole square that is 4 3 9 0 and here 3 4 9 0 first of all get them multiply and here the answer is one five three two one one zero remove the root and we get nine three nine one four point twenty two make a calculation you will get zero point ninety so here we can see that the correlation coefficient between the marks of accountancy and statistic obtain zero point ninety please don't forget to write as I don't have a space please continue with this so moving to the next question